the most important thing to take away from the digital discipleship is that it's good to have ideas, but it's better to put them in action. Not just plan, 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 think, oh, it should be good to do this, but literally pray, 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 and act. Being in a digital space is a bit of a funny spot. I don't think churches have quite figured it out entirely. They're aware it's something they need to work in. I don't know if we've been so successful with it, but I feel that we're starting to harness it. We're realizing that this is a real way to gather an audience. The move today here at Digital Discipleship is just electric. It's the first, so people are curious about what can happen here. People are saying, you know, we live in this digital world, there's disruption happening all around us. It's the first time I'm aware that a church has come together as an organization to have that conversation. Conversation. Everyone today is connected. We don't have more of these offline, online lives anymore. We're dealing with people that are very here and now, where the Christian journey is meant to be something that develops over time, you grow. How are you going to use those milliseconds to engage with them at that point? The digital space, to me, is ways for us to connect with our community. We have to make sure that we are in a place that shows us that to reach people, we have to be online and have a quality presence online. By coming together, we can borrow ideas from each other, we can get resources from others. Whether it's live streaming a church service, whether it's putting something on Facebook, that's the start, but we now look at what we then do next to actually bring people to engage with them. I live and breathe through what God has actually done in me, and so therefore I need to reflect that in the online space. People are looking and searching, and so often we lose confidence that we have a God who promises an immediate harvest, a plentiful harvest, and that he wants to use you and me, not just our pastor. The conference and the division leaders are here. That says a lot. So the members should know that Australia is serious about digital ministry and serious about reaching people for Christ. People are gonna go with a renewed energy and having built relationships to start on a new journey. Everybody's going home with new networks, new contexts. It's important to have a historic conference like this because once you have it, you can always grow from there. I think this movement will continue to grow by just staying connected and just engaging people. The takeaway from this digital conference will be around how can I use what's in my hand? You've got Moses plus God and a rod and he freed a nation. You guys, I think for myself, God plus you and a mobile phone, what does that equal for me? What does that equal for you?